I, I never like to think of those as capturing Broadway. I, I always have referred to them as cinematic interpretations of a Broadway show. So uh, we don't just film it like a television show. We obviously do starts and stops, work with the directors of the original productions and the shows. Um, Michael J. Warren worked with us back then, um, yeah. if, even on that project and we benefited from uh, having a relationship with the producers and trust of the talent that we were able to uh, take uh, an experience like Rent uh, after they had already made a movie of the sh of the production of Rent. That's right. Which That's, right. Didn't, That's right. Didn't do very well and Sony distributed that movie. So this was kind of a little bit of a make good for the uh, for the Larson family. And, uh, and, you know, it took a little bit of convincing that uh, capturing uh, the live entertainment in this cinematic interpretation that we were doing uh, was uh, considered sacrilege at the time. But um, actually, uh, we were just talking about it the other day when we were screening some of the earliest rough cuts of the film with the cast and some of the creative team uh, their jaws were all wide open because they had never really seen themselves performing quite like that before on Broadway. Broadway uh, normally only ever made what they called archive films uh, that are one of three camera films that captured a, fil a, a performance gotcha. for the archives, but they didn't have anything that truly... Uh, captured the nuances of uh, an amazing performance. And in the case of Rent, with someone like Renee and, and some of the other uh, incredible talent that performed in that first, uh, in that final production of Rent, uh, it was mind blowing not only to see themselves, but to know for the Larson family, uh, and I'll never forget this, Jonathan Larson's father would call me every month for about six months, thanking us profusely for finally preserving his son's work and having something that he could continuously see of his son's work after the show had closed. Um, the Pod Matrix.